Oh my god! Oh, I just realized what the girl at the bottom was doing. I was looking at the kiss. You're so innocent. <laughs> And welcome back to my channel in Jabby Koei's setup. <laughs> this is Jabby Koei, by the way. And I'm Mary Cherry. And today we are watching Blade. We both haven't seen Blade before. I don't know what Blade is about. The only thing I do know, because Achara told us, is that it's a vampire movie. Yes. Achara yes. is someone who's on my channel a lot. Yes, yes. And Halloween is coming up. Although by the time this comes out, I don't know if it'll be Halloween time. I actually have no idea when this is coming out. Hopefully it is in time for Halloween so Hopefully. yeah yeah you've seen Blade 2 Blade yeah, 2 and like clips and stuff like that so but I haven't seen Blade 1 yeah so you're more familiar with the character whereas this for me will be a complete introduction to the Blade character for me I'm excited for it though because I have heard from you guys in the comment section that Blade is coming back into the MCU and you guys have wanted me to watch the original so that I can be more aware of the new Blade movie when it comes out and the and the Blade character. So thank you guys for uh, introducing me to the Blade character. Before we do jump into it, Patreon, if you want to check the uncut version, you can check that out over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below where you can also find me on all the social media handles. And you can find Jabby on all the social media handles as well. Let's get, get into this reaction. All right. Oh, snap. Oh, I know this actress. She was in Alien vs. Predator and in Nip Tuck. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. What an opening. I haven't watched Wesley Snipes in a long time, so I am very, very excited. I grew up watching him, like, in everything, whether it's Passenger 57 or Rising Sun. I am not familiar with the actor. I feel I feel bad. <laughs> I think he's in a movie called Brooklyn's Finest. Down there, little man. Oh, really that's good. my heat seeker. Bet it is. Oh. Wow. Wow, <laughs> okay. So I see Lords? It's a surprise baby. Yeah, I like surprises. Yeah. I don't actually remember what Tracy Lords looks like. Okay. But she's like she made like techno music back in the day, and she was also an adult film star, as, oh, I, all right. as I recall. It's very cool toned. She was also in a Russell Crowe Denzel movie called uh, Virtuosity. Postaskis. She's very forward, this lady. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if Stan Lee's cameo was in this dance sequence. <laughs> I saw him going He's in the club. The <laughs> He's just bopping, having a good time. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> Why would you do that? Why would, Why would you, you do, do that? <laughs> Why is that your instinct? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized what the girl at the bottom was doing. I was looking at the kiss. You're so innocent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh nasty. nah. This ain't a club I want to go to. That's not cool. That could be fun. Okay, some of them are freaking out. No. Now I'm just thinking about the fact that they have those teeth and there was a three-way makeout scene a moment ago. And I'm like, why would you want someone with those kinds of teeth going down on you? That's yeah. kind of nasty. Yeah. Oh. What an introduction. Hey, I want to be the DJ right now. Untouched by the blood. Oh, he's about to cut some motherfuckers out. Oh, just gives me the chills. That's a, that's, a, that's a dope intro for Wesley yeah. Snipes. He looks good. He looks cool. Oh, I was expecting some sword action. Oh, oh my god. They're like disintegrating. Because his name is Blade, right? Oh, nice V twist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Oh, you go, Wesley! Damn! The effects as well. Oh, what? They're so 90s. Nice. It's getting it done. He's got so much style. His name's Blade, but he's using guns. Uh, he'll use a blade soon enough. <laughs> Get him! Fuck him up! We're gonna jack you up! Oh, there Get we go. I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That shit with the with the the jacket is so cool. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> Give my regards to Frost. Woo! No, please don't. Oh. Oh, he's a human. The only human, I think, in the club. Oh, is that the dude from the beginning? I didn't even recognize him with all the blood all over. He had, yeah, he has blood all over his face. <laughs> he's so cool. He's like, you're welcome, cops. <laughs> I love how he uses that jacket, though. Mm. Oh, Jesus, that's rank. Ooh. Paramedics said he was still scream when they found him. God Staking damn. To a wall. Teeth intact. Uh huh. Well, really I've got the body in. sitting in the morgue right now. His many chlorians are off the chart. <laughs> I just want you to come down and take a look. Done. We've had that conversation. Are they a couple? Is that the idea that, that's going on there? Maybe. I'm not sure. You ever have second thoughts about us? Okay, so there's something there. You picked up on it well. But then I remember how much of an asshole you were. You want to cut me some slack here? <laughs> Bro! It's definitely over for him. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No! Holy shit, I didn't think he was still alive. No! Oh! oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, he came, he came like a s 5 minutes too late. You're shooting <laughs> the wrong person. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. Ah! I'm sorry if I blew out your ears just then. You gotta make a decision. Do you save her? Yep. I thought he'd be thinking about his mom. Mm. You're gonna shoot him when he's got an innocent person in his arms? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> ah! Well, he knows she's been bit. Maybe he figures she'll just survive? No, that's not. He just calculated it. Oh. That is not protocol. Nope. Ah! At the end of this, you'll have to tell me which blade you like the most. I'm already liking this one better. Yeah? Yeah. But to be fair, it's been years since I've seen Blade 2. I was in a different place in my life. Yeah. Do you recognize this city? Like, as an American? It's, looks do, like, do you know if it's like... Looks like New York to me, but I what, could be wrong. Yeah, one time I called Chicago, New York. <laughs> in a reaction It looks so <laughs> similar in a lot of ways. Like, to the untrained eye. Yeah. You know, most major metropolitan cities, if you were just on one of the streets, you might not know mm -hmm. what city you're looking at Yeah. at a glance. That probably wasn't New York, but... Someone would tell us in the comments. Yeah. Listen close. I'm gonna inject you with allium sediment. Garlic. Garlic. Hurt. Eee. Mm. <laughs> Hold it. I always wonder how they do those needle scenes in movies, if they actually poke them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Give him 50-50. Maybe it's like a dummy. Dummy skin. It, lo it looked like it was her. Mm. Oh, you might- yo, oh, I see what like, you're saying. Yeah. yeah. It's so dark in this room. Yeah. Well, they're vampires, probably. Okay. So anytime it's dark in a room, I'm like, I have to. I feel like, these are vampires. Still pursuing his ridiculous. Oh, that dude. That dude used to be in all the movies in the 80s and 90s, that Asian dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Do we have any other business to discuss? Well, there's the matter of our offshore accounts. You may wake up one day and find yourself extinct. Jeez. He's got a lot of audacity. He's ambitious. Yeah. You take care, right? Wait, is he a vampire that's fighting his vampiric urges? Yeah. Something like that. Oh. He's a daywalker. He's half he's half vampire. Right. So, I mean, I don't fully understand I don't fully know the lore. Yeah by even a stretch, but that's my cursory understanding of things. Mm -hmm. Now he's got someone like him. No, I'm not alone. <laughs> but she's gonna have the same urges and stuff. You yeah. Know, to drink blood and whatever. Yep. She's gonna need the daily, I don't know if it's daily actually, the injections on a regular basis. Garlic. Yeah, the the garlic injections. Gotta upgrade to Thai garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Something stronger. 
That's pretty sick looking. Oh, what? What is that? Check that out. Oh, no. Yeah, high tech. I think start moving around weapons. I'm moving away from it real fast. Oh, don't. Why would you do that? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I took a look at that notebook of hers. She's on this to something. This is ripped. <laughs> Looks like a boxer. <laughs> I wonder how these two got to know each other. That's the worst way to hold someone's hand. You gotta, you gotta, like this. It's gonna dig his nails into your hand. Mm, seems like it takes a massive toll on him. <laughs> They're helping you, ma'am. Who are you people? My name's Abraham Whistler. Whistler. You've met Blade. Behind ya. <laughs> <laughs> that blade helps just you know just make the point yeah just to reiterate you know, my not, name it's not enough being surrounded by two dudes <laughs> they're hard to kill they tend to regenerate well you already met mr crispy at the hospital mr crispy and of course there's always sunlight ultraviolet rays i got this sucker running you want to give it a try tonight still heavy mm. well, you're so big <laughs> 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 I can go to the police. They own the police. Ah, yeah. Understand they're everywhere. That makes sense. Chance they seem like rich so. folk. Silver nitrate, essence of garlic. You keep your eyes open. Be careful. Silver nitrate, did he say? Yeah. If you find you're thirsty, regardless of how much you had to drink, then I suggest you take that gun and use it on yourself. Oh. Wow. Wow, dude. That's Not dark at all. Or you just become a vampire. Can't they just feed on animal blood or something? I'm sure they'll address that at some point. Yeah. So I guess she's not exactly like him yet. You have been warned before. These archives are restricted to the members of the House of Erebus. I feel like this dude's gonna get killed. The Half-Blood or the... No, the board member. Oh. Danny Frost! I'm talking to you! Shh! Keep your voice down, Gitano. He's got such a key for subtle and vibe to him. I don't... I don't... <laughs> What are you after, Frost? Oh, God. He's mad about that for sure. What are you gonna do? Slap you again? I like how Mac is decoding it. You keep your eyes open. They're everywhere. Oh, it's daytime! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Her neck. Her poor neck. Today's a little different, but back then you would never use a Mac for something like that. So it's always hilarious to me when I see that. Does that They're mean everywhere. vampires? I That's guess their so. signal? Don't get in there, no. If I was a vampire, I wouldn't have a tattoo. She's paranoid now. What are you doing? <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Uh, I was nice. half expecting them to cut her off. <laughs> like to be on the other side somehow. Impossibly. Uh, she just got super lucky. I like her apartment. It's got some nice decor. Uh oh. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Police officer. Is her door open? You died. Don't worry about that right now, okay? Why? That was. Because you're dead too. <gasps> <gasps> Quick move. Vampires? Who said I was a vampire, huh? <laughs> Nobody. He's a familiar. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a stun. And he proves himself maybe his master of turning. That's so weird. That's her apartment. You use me as bait? Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is all that necessary? <laughs> right. Are you gonna pay for all the damages, bro? Tell us what your master's been up to. You gonna rob me too? How do you think that we fund this organization, huh? <laughs> Not exactly the marching times. <laughs> <laughs> the logistics matter. <laughs> I like a little mm. comedy flair in this. Yeah. And if you want to survive it, you better learn to pull the trigger. Wait a minute. I'm coming with you. You're useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's the only way that I'll stay alive long enough to find a cure for myself. There is no cure. 
Now you got me wondering what city this is. I was like, the way he's banging up that cop has to be New York. But this looks more like downtown LA. You know what it's capable. <laughs> that was such a Kanye West type smile. It was so fake. <laughs> oh. I gotta clear out that clinic on Hilbert now. Oh. Vampires are running rampant. It means that there's a safe house around here somewhere. You see the ballets over there? They're vampires. So's the doorman and the whore in the corner. Did you just say whore in the corner? Yes. Whore. <laughs> whore. It's like a bad dream. There are worse things out tonight than vampires. Like what? Like me. me. <laughs> I got a of silver hollow point filled with garlic. You ain't for the head or the heart. Anything else is your ass. An invitation. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the entrance? I can't tell you that, man. Get it out of you somehow. Come on, man. I told you it's a friend. Oh yeah, he wasn't lying. Oh, that's cool. So this is where the headquarters is, I guess. That's, this is what you gotta do when you're rich enough. <laughs> Once you hit 10 million subscribers, oh, you gotta build a, a secret door behind your, your kitchen. The fridge. dream. <laughs> <laughs> Access handles like the Eggo waffles inside the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? This is weird. Back on that Macintosh. <laughs> Such a thick, heavy Macintosh as well. Well, 98. Don't keep everyone waiting. Maybe he's in One Tree Hill or Dawson's Creek or one of those teen shows. His face is just super familiar. Blade was waiting for me. Look, you're using the girl as bait. And you are stupid enough to say. Shut up, bitch. I didn't know he was going to be there. It's a trap. Uh, oh, he's going to get shoved off the building, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, that's what... He wanted to get bit, though, right? Um, I wa He wanted to transition into being one of them. But I don't. This, I think this just kills him. Ew! Gross. Oh, nasty! Oh my god! I want blue. Oh well, he's dead. I want him alive. What? <laughs> I want him alive. Oh. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. What's Jabba the Hutt doing here? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> He's going to kill me! You need me, Frost! You need me! Pearl. Actually, it's a video game. <laughs> that voice effect that they've got actor using is hilarious. I burned him. That or her. He's a fragment! So many outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gonna wanna talk. What's in here? Nothing. It's just a storeroom, but you're wasting your time. There's nothing of importance to anyone. Then you won't mind if I take a peek. No! Mm. Oh. <laughs> she seems like she's enjoying that a little yeah. too much. Yeah, she really is. Okay, I think... Well, she has good reason to be mad, though. Jesus. Oh. It's like... They moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I thought it he exploded and because I closed my eyes and I had a scream. <laughs> Thank God that was <laughs> that's not what happened. <laughs> it contains everything. Their entire history. I'm surprised the lights are as bright as they are. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Someone's running well, about. My, my understanding with old stuff is that you don't want the lights to be too bright on it. Or maybe I'm just thinking of like paintings. No, I, I, you're right. A flash, like you can't take flash photography when you go into museums and things like that because of the light. It's like ch a child's footsteps or something? Yeah, it's like a little girl. So we saw oh, her earlier. Oh, the, the girl from earlier. Yeah. Give me your hand. Hola, amigo. <laughs> Do you remember oh. me? 
Oh, oh what? she baited him. Wow, they have no regard for their history. Hey. Ouch. That's Simon Ray. You took my arm, man. Remember? He taught a lot of my cool. friends. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You can die, Sim, but the Quinn man just keeps on coming. Check it out. I've got his pig sticker. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 Come to think of a blade, I owe you one. <gasps> oh God! The technical blade. I owe you two. Oh no! Oh, it's so funny, bright eyes. I'm expecting company. <laughs> oh, well, rip to this museum. Oh, it's his mate. A bad time. <laughs> the sound effects is great. Our trains are just constantly running through there. <laughs> yeah, and there's not a lot of space. This is so mess. <gasps> Tell me his arm came out of his socket. What an intense sequence. Is his arm? Jesus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes... Thank you. His arm hurts. <laughs> She's a doctor. Mm -hmm. You're one of them, aren't you? I'm something else. I found him when he was 13. Even. There you go. His body started to reject it. So far, all my efforts to find a cure have failed. So he's kind of like his adoptive dad. Yeah. We kill as many of them as we can find. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Except everything Whistler told me. <laughs> Morning. How you feeling? Look at that. Whew. Getting a little I feel like you're right. Here, huh? This guy is going to die. Oh, he's getting burnt up already. Mm -hmm. I'm a fairly sentimental type of guy. Bit of an innocent, you might say. Do what you want, Frost. Doesn't make any difference. I actually you like this vampire. Kill. You're never gonna be a pure blood. Hold them. You will never rule us. No. <laughs> oh, oh. mm -mm, no. Oh. 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 Oh my God. Oh, that's crazy. That started off crazy looking and then it ended pretty gimmicky. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they had to do the best they could for yeah, the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. of course. Let's get down to business, shall we? I need 12 volunteers. Pretty sure it was like state of the art for that yeah. era. Yeah. What is this? It smelled like a vampire wiped his ass with it. I took a <laughs> <laughs> Take a step back. The reaction's energetic. <laughs> but maybe you could use it to explode some vampire heads. Ah. Wait a minute. That's an idea. I need a sense. I wonder if Whistler's okay. <coughs> Is he sick? Cancer. Oh. All smoking? We have a good arrangement. He makes the weapons. I use them. <laughs> yeah. That's not going away. You got another day. Two at the most. That's so sad. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. You make it sound like I'm already dead. She's a pretty hot doctor. Yeah, she is. <laughs> the new race. Looks like your mascara's running. <laughs> You're gonna wish they never cut you from your mother's womb. <laughs> Through the girl. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh no! Literally? 
Why didn't the bus stop? <laughs> God damn. She, she's too little for for the bus to. Glad she's okay. She can just yeah. keep moving after being tossed like that. Blade wasn't that far, was he? He went downtown. He just wants to torture an old man. You're the key. If Frost gets his hands on you, it's all over. I'm wondering why they don't find more pregnant women to just bite. <laughs> yeah, they could make things easier for themselves. Give me a goddamn gun. His heart's not cold after all. Walk the fuck away. Oh my god. You can find us at the Edgewood Towers. Oh, he's making bullets. Oh, gotcha. Mm. I was like, he's making tea? <laughs> it's up to him now. He doesn't uh, have Whistler. We have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Put on some Enya music in the background. Chill out before it goes on a killing spree. Oh, that's a mood. That's mm -hmm. a whole mood. Yeah, bath bombs. The root? What is that? I don't even know what that is. We should base, that's the second time they've shown that to us. I'll just cure myself. I did it before, if you were once human. Like you. Would you want to be human again? Scar, A born vampire would have the power to regenerate from birth. You must have gotten scarred. Vampires like you aren't a species. He's so triggered. Everyone you've ever fucking loved. It won't matter who's pure blood and who's not. How are you going to cure the whole fucking world? If you get the whole world, who's gonna, who are you going to eat? Exactly. We got an intruder. Let's eat each other, but that wouldn't work. You said this was made in 98? Mm-hmm. It's just interesting because it's like one year before The Matrix came out, and there are so many similarities in the style. In the color tone or in the uh, action? The, I guess the color tone slightly. The green, Matrix was more green in the real world. Yeah. There was an epic rescue sequence. Mm. You like the sword, yeah, the sword and exactly. shit. Yeah, you had to get thrown in the air, catch you exactly. Yeah, shut the fuck up! Oh my god. Ugh. Oh yuck. Bro, that was goddamn disgusting. <laughs> I wonder what they called it back then, because it wasn't called a MacBook. Oh, really? Yeah, they must call it like an iBook or something like that. Or... Oh, he's gonna see his. Oh wait, is that his mom? Mom? So does. Is he just? Is this in his head or? Is no, he... no, no. This is real. But I didn't realize that it might be his mom. I thought she died. Oh, well, I guess we didn't see her die. But you died. I came back, Eric, that very same night. <laughs> what the? <laughs> What the? Jesus Christ, they thought you'd be happy. You're Dude, finally being reunited what? with your mother and you act like this? What's with the movies we've been watching and the people's mothers? <laughs> yeah, don't say what movie it is. Okay. Yeah. You spent your whole life looking for the vampire who bit your mother. Here I am. Wow. And here we are. One big happy fucking family. That's crazy. That's insane. The dude he's been hunting is the one that made him. That's wild. Maybe when we get out of this, I'll take that miracle cure of yours. This one can. If it works, you'll lose your strength and your ability to regenerate. Can't have everything. It's like a new iPhone. <laughs> Blade, Aaron, glad you could make it. Hey, man. Thanks for the shit. <laughs> what a dick. Your ancestors are like all better. <laughs> Hold out your arm. Now. Oh, is he gonna lose his arms for the third time? Why? Why? Oh my, it's just... Just kidding. Ah! Uh, uh. Blade. He can't hear you, honey. The thirst has got him now. The precious serum. That scene was so random. It just makes you uncomfortable, it worked. Yeah. You should have listened to your blood. You can say what you want. But I promise you, you'll be dead by dawn. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> we haven't forgotten about you. I know, baby. Turn, yeah, but he didn't turn, did he? No, he turned into some kind of zombie. It happens sometimes, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing the zombie thing. <laughs> I'm bearing that all in mind. 
I'd like you to meet an old friend of yours. Uh-oh. The doctor? Oh, no. Her ex? <gasps> I kind of liked her. Oh, Little no. Waste. She might actually turn again, but have no access to the cure. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. Do you ever have second thoughts about us? Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh, my gosh. She's a badass. Well, she is a doctor. <laughs> second year medical school is the art of ass kicking. That's wild, man. Mm -hmm. That he basically looks older than his mom. Mm hmm. You know, because Frost looks younger than Blade. Yeah. I didn't suspect that he was... I was wondering how old Frost was. Yeah. But that's trippy. Complete plot twist there. You're so sick. So thirsty. That design looks like a heart rate monitor on, EK on an EKG or something. Yeah, ECG. Or ECG, sorry. Yeah, actually, I, I see it. Your mother died a long time ago. Oh, my God. God. I've hunted. I've killed. What the fuck? And I've enjoyed it. Haven't you? I know you have. Arr, too closey! Sooner or later, the thirst always wins. That way, that way. That way, Hope. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Dang, she needs to brush her teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Spread them out. Make it perfect. Is it possible he put something in his blood that's gonna hurt them? Maybe he pre-prepared something, or a hematologist lady prepared something beforehand. Bring the elevator up. I do like her look though, her aesthetic. It's pretty cool. I just realized, I, th I think that Asian dude they keep showing, mm -hmm. he, uh, he, was, he was at the end of Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. No. The movie? Okay. The first, the uh, 96 one. Okay. Just like the rest of us. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Comes to an end. Oh. Is he gonna bite her? No more compromises. Blade? We're yeah. Gods. Oh. Maybe. A naughty vampire god. <laughs> he just reminds me of a stoner, that guy. <laughs> there you go. Oh. That shit is nasty. On the same spot? Like, ugh. I just get, ugh. That was nice of her. All right, maybe that's enough. He's kind of overindulging, hey. Oh my god. Did she just say don't stop? Okay. Ah. Now she's gonna bleed to death. Jesus Christ. Uh, I, well, it depends. Push him off. <laughs> I must release you. Nice! It messed up the entire ritual. Good. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh, he's going through it. Seems like it's working out great. <laughs> Had to be done. I was getting too incesty for my liking. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Wait, so it worked? Yeah. I thought the ritual was interrupted when he killed his mom. <laughs> Look at nice. that. He's stronger, for sure. Ow! Oh, whoa! <laughs> 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 oh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. I'm really gonna enjoy this now. <laughs> kick her! Kick her! Oh! Damn! 
Damn, those spins, man! That's crazy! Doesn't lose balance at all. Oh, nice. Hey, Blade! Good job, dude. Oh! <laughs> final boss time. Ooh! That jump! That guy's not as trained as Wesley Snipes. Look at the sparks! Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no way! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the f Damn. Why Capoeira kick? What the hell? Holy shit, he's fast. How do you kill this guy? <gasps> nice. Oh. Give it here. Nice. Oh. What a cat. Oh. It's oh. like an anime. <laughs> <laughs> Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up hill. Gonna kick it? Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This man is impressive. <laughs> oh. Why does he have to turn into a G mutant from Resident Evil 2? It's cartoony by today's standards, but it's still pretty grody. Yeah. Shit, I feel like a vampire. I haven't seen sunlight in 48 hours. I've been shooting with you the I know, <laughs> literally yesterday. the whole day. I'm gonna kill you. You keep your cure. There's still a war going on, and I have a job to do. You wanna help? Make me a better serum. So I'm guessing she's gonna be in the next few Blade movies? As Russia, his help. Moscow. Oh, we gotta... A violent ending. That's what I remember from Blade 2. It was either Blade 2 or Blade 3. I, I don't actually know which one I saw if it was Blade 2 or 3. All I remember was there was someone he cared about that died at the end of the movie. Right. Hey, Biafka. That looks cool. Just on here for Oh. Dovarish. Dovarish. Yeah, so the the Blade film I saw had an ending like that, where it's like after... I don't want to say too much because I don't yeah. want to ruin it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like the ending and then there's like the secondary ending like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and, and he stabs like a vampire in the head. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Were you expecting a, a post credit scene? Because that's pretty typical of Marvel. Well, this is before that. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Like, in this era, it wasn't often you'd get a post credit scene. Okay. It was very rare, like... One of the few films I can think of is like Street Fighter, the movie, and Small Soldiers. And even in Small Soldiers, it wasn't a post credit scene. It was just like an outtake or something like that. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, like, that's, it, that's good to know. It was random when you get a post credit scene in the 90s. Yeah. And then Marvel like started throwing it in there as sort of this thing. Like if you stuck around, you got to, and then it would get passed around word of mouth. And eventually it just became a staple of the movie. Okay. That's yeah. interesting to, to learn about. Yeah. Marvel Marvel's the one that really began that as a trend. Anyway, this was interesting to watch properly for the first time. Yep. It's interesting because, you know, at the time it was cutting edge and state of the art. And now you look at it and it was just like, what, 24 years ago, I guess. Yeah. And, it, you know, there are certain things where it's just like, while it's violent, it's <laughs> so kind of, it's kind of goofy looking. Yeah. You yeah. Because I'm used to stuff like The Boys. Yeah. And where you it, can see everything happening. Yeah. And so it's more, I'm actually kind of glad I watched this years removed because it's allowed me to appreciate it more in mm -hmm. a weird ironic way because at that time i think this level of violence might have turned me off yeah but, but because probably. but because i'm removed from it it's not as bad and i'm like oh yeah, yeah. i can just enjoy this you know yeah. obviously it was very gory at times especially when they were exploding yeah. i think it, like when they would just enlarge and then explode everywhere that was the worst for me but some of the blood scenes i think yeah they were pretty obviously fake yeah, so it was like, hot no nothing compares to like that opening scene from boys season three yeah. you're like nothing compares nothing in this movie compares yeah, to yeah exactly yeah. so now that I've i seen saw your reaction yeah <laughs> now that i've seen the worst it's yeah. like everything else is just a piece of cake for me exactly Are you, you were looking away so like a lot yeah i was like e even in this i was kind of like i think it might have made it worse for you though yeah because I th I like, i imagined stuff yeah. yeah like that time where i was like oh i thought he blowed up but he didn't it yeah. was just like a door exploding or right. something like that yeah so my imagination can run wild there yeah sometimes sound effects makes things significantly worse yeah absolutely and the sound effects was quite intense for this 
this film, like when they drew their swords, for example, it's like whoosh, yeah. you could hear everything, and it was somewhat. It's over the top. Yeah, yeah, like modern day sound design is just a little bit more seamless, I suppose. I think this is on purpose, though. Yeah. I think it was meant to be a little bit cheesy, mm -hmm. a, a little bit tongue in cheek, very self aware at times, and I think that was all deliberate because it's appealing to a certain demographic, which is like cheesy vampire action. Yeah. But like it was still done with a certain degree of quality that is you, you can appreciate. It's, yeah. it's, it strikes an interesting balance. Yeah. And it's like, it's not all the way cheesy. It's not all the way like, you know, high art or something like that. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, I, I'm trying to think of the other end of the spectrum, but it's like, it strikes that middle ground. Yeah. Um, and it, what's even more fascinating is to, for me to contextualize this with the era where it came out because it was li literally like a year before The Matrix released. Yeah. And so there, it does bear some similarities in terms of attitude, style. They're both rated R. Uh, they both have an obsession with like nighttime and, and darkness and black clothes and mm -hmm. trench coats and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the trench coat was definitely Matrixy. Yeah. I found the character Blade to be very interesting as well because he was very complex and that plot twist as well. How crazy was that plot yeah. twist? Yeah. Did you see it coming at all? Well, I didn't. Well, as soon as the thing was opening up and Blade was in the room, I knew it was his mom. Yeah. For some reason, it clicked. I was like, oh, that must be his mom. And right. that's why there's so much suspense building up here. Yeah, it is odd that we've seen two movies in 48 hours yeah. that have that sort of weird thing yeah. baked into it of like, it just seems Oedipus Rexy. Yeah, you yeah, know? because she got way too close to her son there. Yeah. To the point where I was like, very. Yeah, like, and, and this is grody. like. Marvel as well. It's the uh, first time. a lot of crazy stuff in Marvel. Yeah, yeah. but I haven't seen like Mother's Son, like, yeah. you know, in yeah. Marvel at least. Yeah, I mean, there, I think that a lot of the more adult natured stuff has been sort of set to the side mm -hmm. for the better part of the last, you know, 15 years or whatever it is because it's yeah. it's been building out this empire of PG-13 films. Yeah, that's true. You did mention that. Yeah. And so this was before that. This was before, like, you know, the pair, pairing up with Disney and all that mm. stuff and kind of mapping out this game plan for a decade of movies and whatnot or, yeah. or, or longer than that. Which should explain why this is R-rated. Right. And all of the other Disney stuff I've seen is, like, M at the very most. Yeah. But this was not Disney. Yeah. The, yeah, this yeah, was yeah, that, exactly. Before the merge. Exactly. You know, I mean, the one of the earliest movies from the MCU was actually Paramount. You know, oh. Captain America, the first Avenger, I believe is a Paramount film. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I really, really liked Wesley Snipes in this role. I mean, Mahershala Ali, I think, is a phenomenal actor. But seeing this now, I, I do wish that they found a way to keep him as Blade. And right. I think that they're like, I don't think, uh, if Wesley Snipes is older, I don't think he's that much older than Mahershala Ali. Yeah. I think Mahershala Ali is like 46 years old. So I'm like, why wouldn't you get Wesley Snipes again? But yeah. they're going for a new tone, you know? Yeah. This has made me excited for the new Blade movie. I feel like I should probably check out the second and the third one. You rate those two, but you did say early on into the reaction I, that you... This one was better for me. Okay. Yeah, but I'm also much older than when I watched the other Blade yep. film that I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um, and the, the thing about it is I've heard that they get progressively worse with each oh, installment. Oh, right. You know, I always hear that with trilogies or sagas, the first one's always, typically it's always the standout one. It just depends. Like Back to the Future, I think the second one was my favorite. Okay. Ninja Turtles, the second one was my favorite. And then- For a um, lot of people, Terminator 2 was Terminator 2, that's right, that's right. Yeah, Terminator 2 is the favorite, is, is the best. And then like, if it's a planned trilogy, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, then, you know, typically the films are sort of uniform in their quality. Yeah. I mean, I guess a lot of people say Empire of the Strikes Back is their favorite. So anyway, that's a, you know, an aside. Yeah. Yep. But, um, but regarding the action in this, there were many instances where the action was just like shining and I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, as someone who really, really appreciates good fight scenes mm -hmm. and like in terms of camera work, in terms of choreography, execution and movement and all that stuff, they had some great moments in here, but there were also a lot of moments marred in bad camera technique and bad editing. And I think that it was used to cover up instances where the actors just weren't performing as well as Wesley Snipes or, yeah. you know, it's like, I could tell in the sword movement, there must have been many instances where that actor that Wesley Snipes was fighting had a double because you right. could tell like the way he was swinging it, it just wasn't quite, it didn't have as much technique as mm -hmm. Wesley Snipes. Yeah. But about Wesley Snipes, I mean, he had so much swag for a superhero. Mm -hmm. I was, I, it he just- was cool. Yeah, it was so dope. Like the, when he dropped down into the middle of that, um, the, the temple, yeah. uh, comes out with this, with this wire and cuts the dude's head off. And it's like, 
if I saw this when it came out, I wouldn't have been able to appreciate it like the way I can now. Yeah. I thought that was dope. Like he was so slick and he just looks so cool. The music is, is the music of its time. Yeah, like you, you hear the same thing in Matrix, yeah. you know, 1999. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it works. It works for the film and it, and it helps to like, it, it kind of like crystallizes, you know, that era a little bit, yeah. you know? Please, audience members who are of African-American descent, tell me if I'm speaking out of pocket here. But to me, this also kind of qualifies as a sort of modern day black exploitation film in its execution uh, because there's a certain vibe to them. I have not seen really any black exploitation films. I've only been familiar with them through copying or like spoofing and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. I watched Badass, but it's got this long name, Badass or something like that. I right. think that's the name of it. And it was like the first black exploitation film. It was, a, or rather, it was made by the son of the director who made the first black exploitation film. Right. And it was a biopic of his dad. Okay. And then I watched Black Dynamite, right. which kind of like Shaun of the Dead is making fun of black exploitation, but then becomes like this dope black exploitation film. Okay. You know, because Shaun of the Dead is making fun of the zombie genre and then becomes an amazing zombie film. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and so there are certain things in here that I'm like, I feel like it, it just kind of gives me the same sense, the same vibe, but I, I have a cursory understanding of black exploitation. So I might be out of line there in my, you know, I might be wrong, but you guys can let me know if I'm at all in the realm of of my understanding here, so. Because I wasn't aware of Blade up until very recently when you guys made me aware of Blade. I always thought the first black superhero was the Black Panther, actually. So, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, he's not a typical hero hero, but he is a hero. He's fighting the urges that was given to him in his DNA, mm -hmm. and he's trying to help his community. He's trying to do better for the world. Well, I thought that was interesting, too, because the Black Panther is marketed as, like, the first black superhero. Uh, I mean, he's the, he's the most... Mm, notable, maybe? I feel like Blade is the first most notable one. Okay. Um, but you're also younger than me. So Spawn came out in 97, one year before Blade. Okay. And Spawn, I believe, stars Michael J. White, if I'm not mistaken. I liked the overall design of the character Blade. I mean, you know, the thing about it is sometimes you look at costumes years removed and you're like kind of cheesy yeah blade's uh, outfit still looks cool yeah pretty timeless if you i know. do say so myself but again he's got the whole trench coat thing you can't really go wrong with the trench coat and he's like obviously got like some sort of protective layer as well that makes him look bigger than he is as well oh he's a, Wesley's not he's a, a huge guy, guy. He's yeah, a, yeah he's yeah. a big guy but but the outfit de definitely makes him look even more even bulkier in, yeah, intimidating but um i i think that his costume for whatever reason, stands the test of time. And I think that his guns also look pretty cool. I was looking at it uh, up close when he handed his gun off to, um, uh, what's his name, the, the, the white dude who's been helping him out the whole movie. Uh, Win Whistler? Whistler, yeah, yep. Whistler. You get to see it up close for the first time, and I think the design of it is really neat. It, it almost feels like, much in the same way that they described Robert Pattinson's Batman, of how it's all sort of makeshift, yeah. and he put it together himself. That's yeah. how that came across. I know Whistler helped him out, yeah. but it still sort of had that makeshift vibe to the whole thing. And I liked just the, that look of it. I thought it yeah. was pretty neat. I think I'm just very surprised by this movie just because I don't really watch vampire movies in general or vampire TV shows. I never got into True Blood. I haven't been into them, but I watched this with an open mind mm -hmm. and it really surprised me. And I got into the character Blade and I'm just really delighted by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He impressed me. Yeah. His fighting, his acting, his stoicism, I guess, about him. Um, yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought about that too because after a while okay i'm watching the rings of power for instance right and gladriel I, after three episodes i actually got really irritated with her because i'm not gonna ruin it don't okay. worry so <laughs> but after three episodes i got irritated with her because her character i just found to be very one note and there are probably built-in excuses and reasons for that but it just got it wore me down a little bit i'm just right. like yo can you like be nice to be around that's just like you're just so the same person and blade is a very like brewing a brooding and Blade is a very brooding character and very serious all the time but then he's got like the smile he does or this one liner mm. that he does and that's sort of what gives it for me what well, I might be ignorant here but that's what sort of gives it for me that sort of flair of black exploitation mm -hmm. it might be something that's straight from the comic books and that's why they did that right. or that might be Wesley Snipes doing his spin on it but mm. I just thought it was cool because it lent itself some levity that was that's often unexpected in the movie. Yeah, and even his hesitation when Whistler asked him to pass him the gun, mm -hmm. he, he was like, we can find a cure. And even though, you know, he didn't say, oh, I can't, you're my adoptive dad. Yeah. He didn't need to say it, exactly. you know? He, he just, we felt it as yeah. an audience. Yeah. It was just in his hesitation, his face. Uh, and I just have to give credit to Wesley 
for that. Well, that's also part of the writing that makes it good because mm-hmm. while there are definitely cheesy moments woven into the movie, that was definitely a really, really good moment because things are being shown to you instead of spoken at you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's always better when a film can show you instead of tell you. Yeah. I think that's better always... Better storytelling. It's better storytelling. It, it, it kind of goes to that it speaks to that machismo thing the the macho thing of like you know because she goes you really care about him don't you and he goes oh he's useful <laughs> and it's like no no you're just you're, that's the that's the cover that's the shield on top of that heart like mm. you know you have protective barriers in front yeah. of that that warm heart of yours inside and so that's why he never actually outwardly says that he cares about him but he clearly does yep. through, you know he says it through his actions yeah i was hoping that there was going to be a way to keep him alive it was just you know yeah it was really brutal yeah. i was really but at the same time they did mention that he had cancer they didn't specify what kind it's of true. cancer so he was going to die a slow death mm-hmm. or you know he died fast yeah. so uh, uh deacon frost was played by S- stefan dorf who to me looks like a he, he he's the spinning image of Kiefer Sutherland and that's probably why they chose him right. because he's he bears such a resemblance to someone who was the star of The Lost Boys which was like an 80s vampire film that oh. was insanely popular. I haven't seen The Lost Boys, that is another film I need to watch, but it's it's one of those classic vampire films, so the first of its one of the first of its kind. Okay. It would naturally they chose someone that looked like him and I thought he did a really really good job. He was this like he had this young ambitious asshole vibe and mm-hmm. it was perfect for that yeah. role. Like, is that the name of the character, the classic character? Icarus. He's like, Icar- Icarus. you know, flew, flew too close to the sun. And you got cut down for it, you know? Mm-hmm. His little nose flares when he'd get angry as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, his sidekick in the movie with the hair, who's he like, we're going to be gods, dude. He's he's the perfect actor for that role because I hated him. <laughs> and it's like you love to hate him because he's so irritating. He's so obnoxious, but it's like, it's just a vibe. And yeah. it works for that role. Yeah, he yeah. was funny to me. I was like, oh my God, this guy is like a vampire stoner. Yeah, I, I I think that this movie might have been one of the first, if not the first of its kind, in the way that it portrayed vampires. Because, you know, up until then, we probably just had Dracula and stuff of that nature. Oh, yeah. You know, and this sort of, it just shook the house, you know, in terms of what you can do with vampires and the portrayal of them. Because it, it's way more modern. And it actually gave me the vibes of one of my favorite book series. I'm not a vampire person by any stretch. But there's a guy named Charlie Houston. Charlie is spelled like the, the way you spell Charlie, but Houston is spelled H-U-S-T-O-N. He wrote a book called Already Dead. And then there are several books that follow, and they're thin books. They read quick. Um, And he wrote my favorite uh, trilogy called the the Henry Thompson trilogy. But Already Dead is about vampires in New York. And like, it's kind of like this. It's like, what if we had vampires? And what would that look like in, you know, New York City? Yeah. You know? Okay. It's very, very interesting stuff. And if you like Blade, you might like that in terms of, it's just like very witty banter dialogue. It's, It's very dialogue heavy, but it brings you into this world of like vampires in New York and it's super cool. Um, And that's what I liked about this. It's just like sort of this modern day thing, like this adjacent life, this adjacent world to our own world in Los Angeles, kind of like John Wick. Yeah, yeah, I think this was a great film for people who also aren't fans of vampire films because I wasn't and I really enjoyed this film. So thank you so much for watching Blade with us, you guys. It was so much fun for us. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts of this film in the comment section below. Let us know if you're excited for the newest Blade film. Do be sure to follow Jabby on the social media platforms all of them will be linked in the description bar below so will mine and patreon the uncut version for this will be over on patreon link for that is going to be in the description bar below thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves guys and we will see you in the next one Bye.